Aries, you are up for the December money and career reading. As I always say, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. I'm just person here reading energy and tarot cards. All right, so let's talk about this. So the title of this is kind of crazy because I was planning on titling this step by step because that's what's happening right now. You're on a journey. And strategy and direction came out, both mentioning step by step. I feel like for some of you, you want to rush into things because, I mean, Aries, cardinal sign, that's how cardinal signs are. They, they like to rush in, and especially with you being a fire sign, that's almost like doubling down on rushing in. So I, I totally get it where you want to get things done. I think for some of you, you feel like you haven't hit the goals that you would have liked to hit by now. But honestly, it, it's not a big deal. Certain things that are happening are happening the way they're supposed to happen through, quote unquote, divine timing. Now, one thing I've noticed, though, is that a bunch of cards came out in the reverse. So the Ten of Swords, which is the Ten of Spears, I'm using the Alice in Wonderland deck. That came out in reverse. So letting that go. Also, the um, Nine of Wands came out in the reverse. The Wounded Warrior, letting that go. Also, the Knight of Cups, or Tea Cups in this deck, came out in reverse, rejection. Also, the Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment, came out in reverse. Three of Pentacles came out in the reverse. What this is telling me is that there's something involving people, dealing with people. Because nine, the Nine of Cups can be about an offer. Also, Nine of Cups can be about... Um, wish fulfillment. I feel like something from someone else's perspective would be that would be the ideal situation for, in other people's eyes is not the ideal situation for you. That is what I'm getting. It's where some people, and you might have even turned down something recently where when people found out you turned it down, they were like, what were you thinking? Because they're thinking in their head, you, that's the perfect offer. Like, do you know how many people, it's almost like, um, I don't know if you've seen the movie The Devil Wears Prada. And like when she got the job and she was telling her friends about it, and it, when everyone was um, talking about that position working for Miranda, everyone would always say, you know how many people would kill for that job? And she's just like, well, I'm not one of them. <laughs> so it's kind of that energy, Aries, where everybody else around you might be like, do you know how many people want this? And you're just kind of like, I don't care. <laughs> so it's, it's not your ideal thing. This is not where your happiness is at. Your happiness is more being solo and calling the shots and doing things on your own time. That's the other thing, too. I feel like another issue might have been, now that I'm thinking about it, especially with the uh, Wounded Warrior. And Wounded Warrior is fire energy with the wands. Um, Swords is air energy. Cups is water energy. Pentacles, Earth energy. So we have all the energies here in, in this. And I feel, and something just said to me as well, the reason that you might have turned something down is because you didn't feel balanced. Because I'm getting all of the elements here. And when I think of all of the elements, I think of balance. With this being in reverse, I feel like something was off balance. Hence, why you kind of backed away from it. Or why you feel like you don't want it. And I really feel it's connected to people. Like you just don't want to work with a lot of people. You feel like there might be drama or things like that. So now you're on this journey. The card that came out is strategy. It says... You need to start a step-by-step -step plan of attack for of attack to reach the next level. Get the advice of someone who is already where you want to go. So get the advice of someone who is already where you want to go. Strategy. And something said to me, don't over-strategize either. Other card that came out is direction. Your purpose is unfolding slowly, step-by-step. -step. As you go along, there's no need to hurry or worry. You are being divinely guided. You are being divinely guided. That is what this thing is saying in direction. Now, at the bottom of the deck, guess what was at the bottom of the deck? Guidance. <laughs> I told you, this stuff is happening in divine timing for you. I know for some of you, you want to really just push this forward. because, And especially, if I'm not mistaken... Um, Mars moves into Aries, if I'm not mistaken. 
So that will be with that happening. That will also supercharge you where you're like, I got to get this done. You're being guided. And while you're being guided, while things are happening with divine timing, it's not always a rushed process. Now, guidance says divine forces are showing you the way to go. You are discovering another piece of your destiny and your purpose in life. That's what this is giving you. I really feel you're finding your purpose and you're with the stuff in reverse. What? might be the ideal or what might be the um, the norm for the people of the world that the norm doesn't work for you because it's almost like what's average and one thing about Aries Aries is not an average sign Aries is the first sign of the zodiac and as such they expect you know the red carpet treatment they expect to have the best things in life they don't like receiving something that is subpar or below number one. That that's just how Aries are. So your happiness is on this journey, and bright things are coming in. This is the sun. There will be offers. There will be warmth. There will be healing. There will be love. I heard in my head there will be passion as well. Something that brings you happiness. But like I said, the main message is it, that I pull from this is that you don't like working with people. You, you want to do your own thing. And there's nothing wrong with that. All right. So you're on a journey. Step by step is happening through divine guidance. That's all I got for you, Aries. Until next time, be blessed.